What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And yesterday, Tony Flame went onto Twitter to give us some more information about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The team at Treyarch has been changing up a lot of things uh, that have been around in Call of Duty for a while when it comes to mechanics. Um, and most of the things that they've been talking about, I really enjoy. I really like the changes that they are making. And one that Tony Flame mentioned yesterday was bullet penetration. He said in past Call of Duty titles, uh, bullet penetration has been inconsistent and unreliable on the receiving end. Uh, in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, bullet penetration will be consistent per weapon. He said while past titles had attachments like FMJ, those were very inconsistent and unre unreliable. This game will be solely based on the bullet penetration for the weapon that you're using. So if you're using an LMG, you will have more bullet penetration than an AR. If you're using an AR, you're going to have more bullet pe penetration than an SMG. He really didn't mention snipers, so I'm not sure exactly what kind of bullet penetration they will have. And also from this, it does uh, kind of what he said here. It does kind of make me think that there won't be any attachment like FMJ in game. There may be something you can use, you know, on some weapons. But in my opinion, it's just been odd over the last several, several years where players would not even have FMJ on and could still get kills through whether it be concrete walls, wood, just debris, whatever the case may be. You would just die from some odd damage through material that really, in my opinion, you should not, you know, be able to be injured from. And a lot of times, like I said, these players would not even have FMJ on. So I was always kind of wondering why we even had the FMJ attachment in game when you already could wall bang anybody with any weapon in the game, pretty much, even pistols sometimes. And I've also had that, uh, you know, issue, which I'm sure all of you have, where you've been behind something, uh, the enemy may be behind something as well. You both are using the same weapon pretty much and they're able to damage you through a, a piece of you know debris or a wall which you're unable to damage them you just get a bunch of hit markers so hopefully this new mechanic will be uh, a good thing uh, it sounds really gr great in my opinion i like the idea of this i think this should this is kind of how it should have been all along now uh if you're using an lmg yes you can fire you know 100 rounds and, and you can penetrate material but if you're using a 9mm submachine gun, you really shouldn't be able to penetrate the same material you can with a, a light machine gun. So I really like the changes that they're making. They're, they have made a lot of mechanic changes for, uh, in the game just in general over the last uh, few weeks. They've been talking about these changes. And I'm glad to see all of this stuff kind of, you know, coming to light, you know, the, talking with the community, letting us know what's going on. And I'm really happy to see, like I said, a lot of these changes that have been talked about because I feel like some of the old mechanics that have been around in Call of Duty forever, uh, some things, you know, just kind of has, have existed since, you know, COD 2, really, and have, have kind of made their way into games now, you know, what, 11, 12 years later, we still have a lot of these same kind of odd mechanic issues, and I'm glad that Treyarch is starting to look at these, change them up, and, and make them work like they should in a, a modern game, which is going to be out, what, at the end of 2020 going into 2021. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Are you happy to hear this information about bullet penetration? And pretty much, are you happy to hear about all the information of all the different mechanics that the team at Treyarch is kind of changing up? Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. My Twitter, of course, if you'd like to join the community Discord, it is linked down there as well. And also the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, mice, keyboard, mouse pads, pretty much anything to fit your gaming needs. So give those guys a look if you have a chance. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.